This is Twit. Open source e-voting. Uh, this was a really nice, lengthy article in Motherboard. And so I've got the link at the top of the of my coverage of this for anyone who wants to dig in deeper. But I'm going to encapsulate this from, from having edited and excerpted from their m Motherboard's much longer coverage. Uh, the headline on Motherboard read, DARPA is building a $10 million open source secure voting system. Okay, well, there's a lot of problems with that headline. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll, I'll explain where they got the headline. I mean, you know, the people who do the headline skim the article, I guess, and come up with something that people will want to read. The system will be fully open source and designed with newly developed secure hardware to make the system not only impervious to certain kinds of hacking, but also allow voters and this stuff is so cool, I'll get to the details of this in, in, in a minute, to verify that their votes were recorded accurately. We're going to see some really cool new crypto involved, as, as you'll see. For years, Motherboard writes, security professionals and election integrity activists have been pushing voting machine vendors to build more secure and verifiable election systems. And, and I would say open it just it's nuts that we that 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 debold could could possibly sell to anyone a box under the the just trust us i mean okay what's that j t u that is the exact reverse of t n o um you know <laughs> just trust us versus trust no one <laughs> That's just how 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 did that happen? I don't know how that happened, but it's with the world we're in right now. So mother, motherboard says so the voters and candidates can be assured election outcomes have not been manipulated. Um now motherboard writes thanks to a new ten million dollar contract. So that's where this ten million dollar number came from. Uh, DARPA has launched to design and build a secure voting system that hopes to be impervious to hacking. And I would argue this has the chance to happen due to the way they're doing this. The fir this first of its kind system will be designed by an Oregon based firm called Galois, G A L O I S, which is a, a math term used in crypto. A longtime government contractor with experience in designing secure and verifiable systems. The system will use fully open source voting software instead of the closed proprietary software currently used in the vast majority of voting machines, which no one outside of voting machine testing labs can examine. And we have seen what a piss poor job they've done because voting machines, when they are available, and of course the the, the reaction of the, as we've talked about it of the voting machine companies is to buy them all off of eBay so that they can't be found for for hacker competitions during DefCon. So it's like, no, don't look at, don't we're not going to let you look at our machines, and and when it, whenever anybody has. They've, they've cut into them like Swiss cheese. So more importantly, this these next generation machines will be built on open, open source hardware made from secure designs and techniques developed over the last year as part of a special program at DARPA. The voting system will also be designed to create fully verifiable and transparent results, that is output, that the voters don't have to blindly trust that the machines and election officials delivered correct results. We'll get to more of that in a second. But DARPA and Galois won't be asking people to blindly trust that their voting systems are secure, as voting machine vendors currently do. Instead, they'll be publishing source code for the software online, 
and bringing prototypes of the systems to the DEFCON voting village this summer and next so that hackers and researchers will be able to freely examine the systems themselves and conduct penetration tests to gauge their security. So they will have working systems and the source code to read through and try to find problems. They'll also be working with a number of universities, they, meaning DARPA and Galois, working with a number of university teams over the next year to have them examine the systems in formal test environments. Linton Salmon is the program director for DARPA's Microsystems Technology Office, which is overseeing the project. In a phone call, he told Motherboard, quote, DEF CON is great, but hackers there will not give us as much technical detail as we want about problems they find in the systems. Universities will give us all the information, but we don't have as many people or as high or or as as high visibility as when we as when we do it with univer with universities. So they're going to use both. Is his point? The systems Galois designs won't be available themselves directly for sale, but the prototypes it creates will be available for existing voting machine vendors or others to freely adopt and customize without costly licensing fees or the millions of dollars it would take to research and develop a secure system from scratch. So they're creating exactly what we want, a secure hardware and software open standard, which then voting existing voting machine manufacturers will be able to adopt for free to turn into commercial machines. And then states will be able to say to, to Diebold, we'll buy your machine as long as our purchasers can verify and you certify it is compliant with and with the gold standard, which will then be available and, and testable and verifiable. So, that's where we're going to be going, and I, it's it's perfect. Linton said, we will not have a voting machine that we can deploy. That's not what we do. We will show a methodology that could be used by others to build a voting system that's completely secure. Joe Kin, Kin, Kinnery, K-I-N-I-R-Y, Joe Kinnery is the principal scientist at Galois, who is leading the project at his company. He said that Galois will design two basic voting machine types. So here's some juicy details. The first will be a ballot marking device that uses a touch screen for voters to make their selections. The system won't tabulate votes. Instead, it will print out a paper ballot marked with the voters' choices so voters can review them before depositing them into an optical scan machine that tabulates the votes. Galois will bring this system to DEF CON this year. Many current ballot marking systems on the market today have been criticized by security professionals because they print barcodes on the ballot that the scanner can read instead of the human readable portion voters review. Someone could subvert the barcode to say one thing while the human readable portion says something else. Kinnery said they're aiming to design their system without barcodes. So the point being what the scanner scans and tabulates from is human readable so that there's no question. The optical scan system Will, okay, so now, so that's so that's the the thing that creates the thing to be scanned. Part two, the optical scan system will print a receipt with a cryptographic representation of the voters' choices. After the election, the cryptographic values for all ballots will be published on a website where voters can individually verify that their ballot and votes 
are among those present and counted. Kinnery said, that receipt will not permit you to prove anything about how you voted, but it permits you to prove that the system accurately captured your intent and that your vote is in the final tally. Members of the public will be able to use the cryptographic values to independently tally the votes to verify the election results so that tabulating the votes isn't a closed process solely in the hands of election officials. In other words, everything gets made public and published. Um, Kennery said any organization interested in verifying the election results that hires a competent software engineer can write their own tabulator. We fully expect that Common Cause, League of Women Voters, and the political parties will all have their own tabulators and verifiers. The second system Galois plans to build is the optical scan system that reads paper ballots marked by voters by hand. They'll bring that system to DEF CON next year. So there is a bunch of, I mean, all of that sounds right. Some people clearly thought about this. They're like how to be completely open, how to allow an individual voter the satisfaction of knowing that they're using an academically scrutinized open system where after the fact they're able to, to use a website to cryptographically verify that their individual vote was captured and has been as part of the final tally that this this tabulator system uses. I it just I think they nailed it. And so uh, it looks like a couple of years from now because uh, they're going to have this first system at, at this summer and then the the paper ballot tabulator next summer. I mean, I hope that the 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 voting machine vendors read the handwriting on the walls recognizing that this is out of their hands this you know they had their day it's and and then to to immediately get up to speed on this new technology so they can be first to market early to market with this system uh as it gets finalized because you know this is a beautiful solution nice i hope uh, yeah awesome yeah very very cool